So this is um, my whole map of all the planets and different stuff. These are, a lot of them are visited, not all of them yet, but more will be visited later in later books. And it's there's a lot of stuff. I don't know. I've always just been talented at that. I guess I'm in art too. So I'm like early on. I was in a high school level when I was in middle school. I started writing when I was 11, although I already drew and wrote when I was younger. I was writing comics. I had Midget Man, X Energy, Galaxy Guy. When I first did the illustrations, it was in pencil. And but the second book, I started doing it in pen. But then the third one, I moved to markers. And then I tried doing more bigger drawings and harder drawings. I don't know, I guess this idea has popped into my head. Like I, when I watch a movie, I like to imagine what would I want to see happen and what would I think be cool, like, like watchers would want to see. Yeah, I was diagnosed in February, uh, February 27th, 2014 with breast cancer. And um, one of the things I did is I just write a book. So I ended up writing a book sharing my journey of going through cancer. Cause I thought if it could just encourage one person to see they're not alone or to see that there's hope, that was the whole point of doing it. It's just to encourage other people. And and I, I thought that was that was inspirational for me because I had my books and stuff, and I wanted to do that. I just wanted to make some money one day because I wanted some stuff on Amazon. He was around about ten or eleven years old. He started making these really cool like comic books. He was taking graph paper or line paper, or pretty much anything he could get his hands on and he was just making these fun stories. He'd be like, okay, I'm, I'll see you later. And they would go outside and then he would come back with $5 bills, $1 bills, just whatever, because he ended up starting to knock doors and sell them. And so that was where it really started to show where he had a passion for, for this. First thing is, was you, were you alone? <laughs> Did someone come with you? Um, because he'd be like, well, dad said I could go. They thought it was interesting because they, they were like, oh, I've never seen a kid like you do this before. You're very like, ambitious. So, yeah, and so they're like, okay, we want, we want to support you in the future. So they did. At one point, it was like, okay, so he's starting to do this a lot more often now. And now they were getting three, four, five, six, seven pages. I was like, okay, before you sell them, like, let's photocopy them. Let's. Let's get a copy because you might be onto something here. And so instead of just selling it to the kids down the street, let's try to record what you're doing here. So that was kind of cool. Then that's when it really started kind of getting serious. When David would do the six, seven, eight page comments, he'd say, I want to write a book like you. And I'd say, you can. And he'd say, how old do I have to be? And I said, there's no certain age. You don't have to be any age to do it. I said, however, you need to write enough pages that it would make up a book. And then he was like, okay, so then he started writing and writing and adding to it. And he'd say, is this enough pages? Is this enough pages? And I'd say, you need more. So he just, he wanted to see a book come out of it that we could just publish it and do that. Then that just became his passion. Basically, a boy named Max is hit by a radioactive comet made by a potionist named Thomas. And he meets a bad guy named Galacto who is collecting these like rocks that when they come together, the entire earth will like split in half and one side will go to the sun and the other side will go to a wormhole. And so Comet Boy has to team up with a bunch of different friends and stop him. Marvel has really inspired me because of the way that they make everyone connect and the way they portray their superheroes. I like to imagine what would I want to see happen and what would I think be cool, like, like watchers would want to see. Uh, these are like all Marvel sets. And I like to take them apart and like make them look what they look like in the book and then play with them and see what would happen and like construct out how it works. And then I put it in the book and I write it down. In his spare time, he's on that computer all the time writing. I know he's there, he's writing, he's got an idea. There's it's all you can hear. And I love that about him, I love that passion. And I see his his passion because he's laid it all out. Not everybody, even adults, will lay out this phase, this phase, this phase. He has it, he has characters, things, themes, even on his phases, he has sort of like the synopsis or the plot for each one. Because I said to him, as you have it in your mind, write it down, then you'll remember when you get to it. And his imagination and his creativity is amazing. And I always pray more creativity over him, like more and more and more, because I, I want to pour into that. I want to have like around 20 books and then I want to have like a bunch of shows and like a couple movies and eventually I wanted to develop into a uh, live action. I always saw Comic Boy being on the big screen I guess and him involving into something more. I always wanted uh, Comic Boy to evolve into something bigger. When you look at that kind of like that vision casting, David's very much without a doubt 
going to be in a creative space. This is also the kid who is unique because he can use that to inspire and help people. The thing I would like to see for David is just to really align with what his purpose is. I think it's unique that at a young age, he kind of found that groove quickly, continues with that passion and that he does what he wants to do. I was gonna say my hope for David in the future is that he stays grounded in what he's called to do. That he knows what he's been shown and he's like, no, this is what I'm supposed to do. I enjoy it, I love it. That he just continues to walk in his passion and from that he'll always have joy and happiness when he's walking in who he's called to be. Ta-da! What is it? It's Comic Boy 3, the newest book. Although the, this has something on the title, but it still looks super cool. Where are they gonna be able to find that? Uh, Amazon, but not yet. Very soon though.